Hello folks, Jason Crispin here. It's about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and we're going to move the herd this morning. Um, probably battling the same things you are and that is mud. Um, due to all this mud, it's making it very difficult to get bales back here where the cattle are uh, bale grazing. So I'm going to move them to the front of the farm while we have all this muck until frozen ground returns. So I'm going to turn the camera here so you can see. Uh, we got everybody down here. The tricky part is getting everybody through the gate. The gate, the fence kind of goes over and then it kicks in for the gate and the cattle get a little bit confused. But what I've done here this morning is over here I've unrolled a bale. Um, right there's the gate that goes to the front of the farm. I'll leave them in here today um, for this morning anyhow and most of the afternoon. And then this evening's bale will move up to the front of the farm to eat that. So let's go see how hard this is to get everybody to move in here. They've been awful talkative this morning while I've been enrolling the bales, so I know everybody's hungry. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. This will give you a good look at everybody, too. I actually won't be surprised if they don't eat quite as much hay today because of the grass that's in here. We'll see though. We will see. Come on girls! Hip! Hip! That heifer right, that heifer right there with the white face on the far side just lost her baby the other day during labor. Super huge calves this year. Looking to avoid that next year. For sure. And we had another one uh, yesterday lose her baby. Just because of the size. Um, got three more yet to calve. So um, I'm hoping I can uh, adjust the odds a little bit with them. And uh, maybe keep those three alive. Come on girls! Now the goal is going to be to get everybody over here bring over their water into this pasture and then close that off so they can't get back up there. Now there is still one bale in there, but uh, I don't figure I'm done bale grazing up there. So once the ground freezes, I'll just add more bales. Come on girls. We got the bull and the calves. So we don't have too many left over here. And if we turn and look this way, everybody seems content. We even got some grazing, so that's good. Here comes the bull. Come on, big guy. That little calf there said, screw it, I'm going under the fence. It's off anyway, but. Still, you don't want to teach bad habits. Now, let's see if I can go in here behind these guys and put pressure on them to move them this way towards the gate. May not work. May just have to give them time and let them figure it out themselves. Calves are a little tricky to work on their own. They don't know the general rules of fencing and it gets a little tricky. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get Bobby to go the right way. There goes Bob. Come on. Go on, girl. <coughs> Go 
Go on. Got another one went under the fence. Come on. Let's go. Right out the gate. We're getting closer. Those ones are thinking about going. And get this into turning right way. I don't want to put too much pressure on them. I don't want to freak them out and have trouble with them the rest of my life. So, or their life, I should say. There we go. We got four in the right direction. And we can get these two over there. There we go. There we go. Good kids. That's a good morning when everything comes together. Of course, it don't come together unless you got your ducks lined up. And uh, I tell you, I really hoping I got mine lined up. Uh, unrolled the bale. Something right here freaking them out a little bit. Closed all the gates to the pasture. Um... Now I got to uh, finish rowing up my ducks, close this gate, get their water over there, moved into here, get it topped off. And um, after that, I need to make sure that there's nobody left in this pasture hiding somewhere. So that is my goal now. We'll see how it goes. Um, you can see that there is a few grazing. Majority of them are over there where I put the bale and unrolled it. So things look good. Um, you can see all the or how soft the ground is very 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 wet um, that's why I fed them more over on that side because it's up a little bit higher so uh, I think it'll work pretty well and uh, it'll make moving to the front a little easier doing it in steps like this versus doing it all at one time so if you have any questions or comments leave them down below um, hope you enjoyed the video um, things went pretty simple this morning, and that's not always the way it goes. Thanks for watching.